Hi there, LinkedIn family. Jonathan here from Some Talented People. And this is the first of a number of discussions that we're going to be having about the sexual, abusive, threatening behavior being sent predominantly to women, although we're going to be having a discussion in a few weeks where some male examples are going to be included. But a post from uh, my good connection, Gregory Austin, is uh, in the, uh, the background uh, of me here, and that is that LinkedIn is not a dating site. And so we're going to be hearing from uh, Esme and from Shiri, two incredibly professional women and the experiences they've had. And what I say to anyone watching this, this film or the series of films is this, this goes on at a very high level, but until we all start talking about it, it remains shrouded in secrecy. So for this time, please put your comments and DMs and examples of this abuse in the comments of these videos. And then we'll ask you to follow our LinkedIn page, which is LinkedIn hashtag Me Too, because like the Me Too movement in the film industry, the same problem exists in the social media and online world. And um, so if you're a man or a woman that's suffering, or if you're a man or a woman who's a perpetrator, let's hear your story, because there's a reason why people do things. And ultimately, what we want is a healthier human experience. So uh, let's get to meet our first guest. Hello, everybody. Jonathan, thank you so much for having me here. My name is Sherry Gabriel, and I am talking to you from Toronto, Canada. I'm originally from Peru, lived in Israel for many years, and uh, came here after the army. Did my uh, university studies here in advertising, communications, and uh, I come from the world of marketing, worked for companies like Coca-Cola for many years as a marketing executive. I left that world because I actually wanted to have more time with my kids, be present at home. And at the same time, I always dreamt of having my own business. And so my journey started, started um, off the corporate world as a consultant, as a coach. Um, I started teaching as well. I'm a professor at college. And uh, today I own my own business. Uh, it's a global business that uh, deals with telecommunications, energy, and technology. So what we do is we have an online platform like Amazon, where we broker, we resell all, all these services, utility services that people use. Right. Um, and uh, my business has expanded to nine countries. I have over 1,500 distributors around the world. And, um, you know, that has freed me to uh, to be more with my kids, to be more independent and just be healthier mentally, physically, you know, uh, overall. So I'm, I'm very happy. I'm in a good place. And uh, I love the fact that I can be here with you and, and contribute to this important cause and important conversation. Absolutely. So thank you for having me. No, thank you for being here. And, um, you know, from people watching this broadcast, so... Some of the people watching this are going to be the men who are doing this. Some of the people watching this are going to be women who experience DM sexual abuse on a daily basis. And we want you all to comment because going forward, we're going to be doing more of these discussions. And we're going to try and stamp this out on LinkedIn because this is not the place to be making those sort of suggestions. So Shiri, you've just explained the scale of your thinking, the reach of your business, the philanthropy of tutoring. When you're getting requests or DMs, how do you feel? Yeah, that, that's a very good question. Um, it's happened so many times that, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm actually... Um, I'm afraid to say that I'm not, not used to it, but I know how to deal with it already. It's almost like once in a while, I'll expect it. I'll expect that someone who is DMing me, um, you know, the intentions are not, you know, a professional one, especially, right. you know, on LinkedIn. So um, it's it's definitely, it's not, it, it takes you aback. It takes you, you know, by surprise because you don't expect people to really reach out to you, especially on this platform, mm. the way they do. 
So you know how sometimes, you know, if you haven't experienced this, you know how sometimes you feel, you know, angry or a little bit raped or, you know, uh, people who are intrusive when they simply send you, you know, shark messages. I want to sell you, you know, uh, I want to recruit you. I want to, but when you attach, you know, a sexual content to it, um, it's just, it's horrible. I mean, I think the first few times for, you know, for a few seconds, I felt naked. I was mm -hmm. like, oh my God, like I, you know, I, I wanted just to do this, right? And I felt a little bit disgusted, like what, what is wrong? And of course, you know, you block the person, you report the person, but it's just for that moment. And, you know, I have a very high self-esteem, but I can only imagine, you know, and I'm mature, you know, I'm 48, I have four kids. So I've been through many things. So I know how to get out of those situations very quickly mm. and it doesn't really affect me. I can only imagine, you know, young people, and not just women, young people in general, or people who don't have, you know, that self-esteem or worse that have actually been uh, in some kind of abuse or abusive situations. And then they see a message like this, you know, um, I can only imagine how they feel. And we really, and I'm, I appreciate you doing this because we need to treat this very, very seriously. Any type of comment that is not a professional one on LinkedIn should be reported because, uh, yeah, it, it, it should not be happening. It should not be happening. Let me ask you this. Um, Gazelle will add her uh, testimony afterwards, but what you can, if you're happy to be as explicit as the message is, what kind of things are people saying? Yeah. Uh, so more often than not is, I love your picture. Um, you know, you seem like... Um, a very nice person. Um, you know, you seem to uh, be open to having relationships uh, with others. And then at the end, they usually add, I hope you don't mind this message. Um, and I'm thinking, you just dropped a bomb on me, you know, something extremely inappropriate. Because if you saw me on the street, you wouldn't say those things to me. Oh, I think you're beautiful. Uh, you seem like you're someone, you know, who's open to a relationship. Uh, would you mind, you know, having or developing a relationship with me? Nobody will do that face to face, right? Yeah. But they might be, uh, you know, behind the screen. And then at the end, more often than not, believe it or not, they actually, you know, apologize a little bit or ask for permission. I hope you don't mind me being this direct. Well, buddy, of course, I mind you being this direct. Like, what do you think? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, uh, it's quite shocking, actually. Um, we'll, we'll speak, or if we can hear now from Gazelle, 